Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am here right now at what was earlier CL5 Automotives. Now it is SK Car Lounge and it is completely changed and transformed. I'm going to do a quick walk around of the showroom to show you how kick ass it is with a great inventory of cars and bikes too. Now this is of course a custom Triumph motorcycle. This is the BMW S1000R and this is the BMW obviously we know the G310 GS. Now you might remember this Audi R8 V10. This is actually the LMX 1099. I've already driven this car. So yeah. This is of course the Jeep Wrangler, not the Mahindra Thar, but the cars in this row are absolutely sensational. I'll tell you what, okay, the Jaguar I-Pace, not so much. This is a 911, however, this is not the GT2 RS. It looks like that because it obviously has a GT2 RS kit. This is actually the regular Carrera S with a complete kit. Look at the wheels on this car. Oh my God, the tire size 245, 35, 20s, the wheels, the rims, they look absolutely sensational carbon fiber, fiber body that is and uh, you know at the rear when you see the tires you're like what the f look at the width of those tires it juts out of the body as well can you believe what is the tire size well it happens to be a 305 30 20 looks absolutely right that wing is massive in terms of size well that's what she said okay let's do one thing let's open the car and get inside yeah here we turn on the car there you can see the light turned on as well very underrated as such says Carrera here interior is the usual Porsche affair Okay, and says Carrera. Actually, we have done a dedicated vlog of the Porsche Carrera as well. So why are you looking into this car as much? Let's move to my favorite section, Ferraris. Not one, but two of them. This is the 488 and uh, yeah, it looks mind blowing. That is my personal favorite. This happens to be the 458. This is the 458 Italia, 4.5 liter V8, naturally aspirated engine. Absolutely sensational performance. I've driven another version of this. So vlog is live on this as well as this. And this one also had an exhaust, Klein exhaust, absolutely loud and ballistic. Yeah, I love the fact that the engine cover is exposed so you can see what is inside. The one I drove was actually a Spider. Now this is obviously a convertible driver, a coupe. Yeah, engine looks fantastic. This is the Mercedes AMG GTS, lovely yellow color, looks fantastic. That's the BMW M5, the F10 M. Lot of Jaguars, Mercedes, BMWs, Audis, everywhere in the showroom, in fact, if I quickly glance through here, you can see this car might seem a little bit out of position because that is the MG Hector, yeah, the Hector Plus. Because everywhere you see Audis, BMWs, Mercedes, Maserati and whatnot, this showroom has a crazy amount of cars in terms of its inventory. But here and there, I can also find a couple of, you know, Kias and MGs as well. This is the Volvo S60, I think, cross country. That one, I really like. Yeah, that's a Toyota. There is, it says red, but light is not there much enough here. But this is actually the Thar and that is a Mazda pickup truck, might just remind you, okay, you can't even see it, it's so dark here, it's just going to move around from here, this is a Jeep Compass, Ford Endeavor, Mercedes, GLE, 43 AMG and what not, really kick ass inventory of cars, old Mercs, old BMWs, plenty of them, let's come to this side because uh, this obviously happens to be the old E-Class and then you've got the CLA, we've got the S5, we've got a Disco Sport there. Uh, that is actually that's not a disco sport that's the discovery 5 uh, look at uh, the way it looks at the rear absolutely crazy volvos mercs bmws mercedes 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 I, I mean such a nice inventory of cars and the showroom looks sensational very beautifully designed in fact you know what they've done they should put the whole history of a lot of brands on the top so there you can see that's for lambo audi bmw mercedes rolls royce and then bentley i don't think you can see all that right now now what is really unique is the fact that here in the showroom, let me just go from here. Yeah, there's a GMC Sierra as well. That's a Denali and the GMC looks absolutely sensational. Look at that. It's so big. It's so big. It's so big. That's what she said. Now, the size is massive. The length is crazy. The wheels are really blingy. You need to wear glares to actually look at them properly. This is madness. Yeah, only Americans can offer something this big. I know that's what she said moment has come again. Let's open this and let me climb it. First things first, let's turn on the car. Here, let me press brake and there you see, rose to life and then it does a swipe up very slowly. Yeah, it's a super, like a super slow swipe up as such. And interior actually looks nice, but the car is super duper wide. Let's rev a bit. Yeah, it doesn't like to be revved as such. Turn this off and let me get into this Maserati, which is obviously a convertible. Looks very nice, designed by Pininfarina. And I just love this R8. I love the wheels on this car, it looks so nice. Okay, this Maserati, it sounds ballistic. I kid you not. Turn it on and it sounds like a mad beast. Look at that interior. Looks nice, little aged, I would say. Getting in and out can be a bit of a problem, but turn it on and listen to this, okay? Here we go. 
That is loud, my friend. That is really loud. Frameless windows, rather frameless doors as such. Oh, can you hear? Even at idle, this car sounds so freaking loud. Let's turn this off because it's making quite a racket. Ah, the peace. Actually, there is no one in the showroom today. It's like I'm all alone here. This Jeep Wrangler, na, so much thar feels. The new thar, of course. Now there's only one car which I actually did not open yet, which happens to be the Aston Martin Rapid, Rapid, whatever you want to call it, it's a four-door. Now there is some James Bondness happening right there. All right, can you see the design is obviously very much James Bondish, uh, the Aston Martinish, and uh, you know what? The door handles are also hidden here. Now from the front, it looks very much like the Ford Figo. I'm just kidding. Okay, yeah, from the front you can see. It looks very much like what it has been the Ford design language in plenty of its cars, because at a time Ford actually owned Aston. But what a lovely looking car! I love the AMG as well. Of course, I'm a big AMG fan. Now, now to open it, this is what you do: you pull it, and there it opens. Now I need to. I don't understand why the doors actually go up. Look at this. The door is actually going up, and that's kind of a weird design, to be honest. The key is very uninspiring. This is the key of the car. You know why it's so in inspiring? It's actually very light because you actually have to put the key inside like this. Yeah, you put the key inside, it's popping out actually, and there the James Bondness happens, and there the screen also comes out. That's actually pretty cool. It says pure Aston Martin, and that system also comes up. The Bang and Olsen system went on on the car. That's super cool. Let me do one thing. Let me remove that, and there you can see that. Yeah, a lot of theater inside this car, which is very cool. Like this is closing and whatnot. That's why Aston Martins are so cool. But then. They end up using engines from Mercedes AMG. Well, look at the door actually going upwards. So this was a quick walk around of SK Car Lounge. This is obviously in Hyderabad, and it is an amazing showroom. Looks super duper awesome. I'm sure they spent a bomb in renovating it, and it has worked because you just feel so amazing when you come here. In between all these cars. Now, if you like this vlog, make sure to give the thumbs up. That's the like button, and also subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye bye. Take care.